100 years old today, still lives in the house she's lived in for 50 years. 737, and now here again is Brian. All right, Willard, thank you. It is doubtful that anyone with common sense takes supermarket tabloids seriously. I mean, how seriously can you take a paper that has a headline like, I watched my teen son turn into a werewolf, or how the Marx Brothers cured my stomach cancer? Our question of the morning is, do these papers take themselves seriously? The second part of his report on the tabloids today, correspondent Boyd Matson focuses on the most bizarre of them all, The Sun, a paper whose publisher compares his papers to television programs. Extra, extra, Liberace talks to me from the grave. Ugly mom swaps twins for facelift. Giant flying cat terrifies state. The stories may sound interchangeable, but they're not. There's a subtle difference in what each tabloid will print. If one was comparing it, say, to TV shows, I would say that the Globe is entertainment tonight, that the National Examiner is Ripley's Believe It or Not, and the sun is beauty and the beast. Well, with a lot of beast. The beasty sun is where the true spirit of tabloids burns brightest. It has the lowest sales, but the most quoted headlines of the supermarket rags. Unusual bursts rank up there as their best sellers. Two-headed child is both boy and girl. Newborn baby glows in the dark. The Bible's another popular headline maker. Of course, combining the Bible with an unusual birth is a double winner. Celebrities often appear on the front page of the sun to give it color, but even Cher can't compete with girl gives birth to Siamese triplets for selling papers. When you look around these uh, covers, you see a lot of celebrities, a lot of space aliens, but I also see this strange little guy here, this uh, right. tragic story of this 10-year-old boy who looks like he's 80 years old, right. and he's appeared more than Dolly Parton. He does very well. Does he draw better than... Dolly Parton on your cover? Uh, yes, I think at times he does. Uh, I think he has a fair following, as a matter of fact. Of course, you don't even have to be from this planet to have a big following in the sun. Have you ever had an encounter with a space alien? Personally, no. Not, not that I know of. <laughs> Although we're sometimes told they look just like us. <laughs> Richard Dominic is a reporter for the sun. He took us along to meet someone who swears she's been beamed up into a spaceship on numerous occasions for some very, very close encounters. I was put in a kind of like a sterilization chamber to be cleansed of Earth bacteria, and several of the, these creatures had sexual relations with me. How many nights a week did you go become a hooker for UFO aliens? Uh, for a while, it was every night. I see nothing wrong at all in, in devoting a lot of space to UFOs and flying saucers. A lot of people believe in them. Here's a Sun exclusive the New York Times missed. A Japanese woman allegedly frozen for medical reasons is thawed to life 25 years later. Curiously, the photos indicate she gained weight while freeze-dried. I, I don't know. I think that what they happened is they, they dehydrated her body, deep fried, deep freezed her body. And I guess when they... Uh, added water, I guess, like you would instant coffee. She, she got a little heavier. They added too much water? Could be, yeah. Hey, kids, what time is it? When Richard Dominic heard Howdy Doody had given a live performance at a Skokie, Illinois pond, he knew it was headline material. I was coming from a meeting with some other dummies, and I cut across the ice and about the middle of the ice, I fell through, and Howdy here was in a case, a locked case. All of a sudden, just as I was about to black out, I felt small hands lift me out of the water, out of the ice, and when I came to, there was just my, my dummy Howdy. He was all wet next to me, and nobody else was around. When you go out on these stories, do you approach them skeptically? In the beginning, it was a little hard to believe, and I go home at night and I say, well, this is crazy. This is a little too weird for me. But after four years, you kind of get into the swing of it. It, gets, it becomes normal. I mean, you get, after you've seen a haunted toaster. Right here where it says, put one slice, we heard, I am the devil. Uh, what kind of voice did the devil have? Um, a, a very low voice, I'd say, sounded like Eli Wallach. Have you saved any of this satanic toast? Yes, I did save it because I wanted to be sure that somebody else would see it. Now this one, can you see that, Richard? 
Satan lives. Uh, just terrible. Is the toaster still possessed? I, I, we're, we still have trouble off and on with it, yes. Oh, see, now it's... I just hold it down. It seems to be aware I... Oh! Oh! And why have you kept this toaster? Well, Richard, you know, when all is said and done, it makes good toast. For today, Boyd Matson, NBC News, Boca Raton, Florida. I'm sorry. Jane says she's got a refrigerator, sounds like Burt Lancaster. We'll come back in just a moment. 43 pass. Howdy doody. I like that one. We'll come back in a moment. These messages. Time sharpens, heightens each sensation. What you start with makes a big difference in what you end up with. <laughs> 